Today is a great day here for RIPERS in Ballymena. We had a visit from the Infrastructure Minister John O'Dowd and we delivered 100 buses to TransLink for Ulster bus. The first 100 double-deck electrical buses. I'm delighted to be here in Wright Bus today in Ballymena as the first of our 64 million pound order of buses rolls off the production line. 100 zero emission buses which will go into service in towns and villages across the north. It's great to be able to invest in a local company and invest in local jobs and local communities here in Ballymena and indeed further afield. So I hope in the future to continue this partnership with Wright Bus as we move forward and decarbonise our bus fleet. This is a really important investment for us. It's another 100 zero emission buses going into our, our, our overall fleet. Uh, we already have 150 zero emission buses, mostly coming from Wright Bus as well. Uh, and that, that makes means we've got about 20% of our fleet uh, towards zero emission, 50% of our, our Belfast Metro fleet and 100% of our Derry, London Derry Foil Metro fleet. And, and you know we've been in this collaboration with Wright Bus now for about five years. Um, in the very early days, I think our first buses were only three hydrogen buses. Um, and, and we've developed that partnership going forward and the collaboration has been tremendous and um, there's always been challenges and technical challenges in terms of how we've worked together to resolve those uh, and also how do we work together with our other partners in terms of charging infrastructure and all of that and um, I think Bright Bus has been a, a really tremendous partner to work with. One electrical bus replacing a diesel bus takes out 40,000 litres of diesel per year and so we get cleaner air, cleaner air for everybody but above all, buying buses here in Ballymena from Ripas also secures employment in Ballymena. Ripas currently employs 1,800 people and uh, each job here at Ripas guarantees another three jobs in the whole of the supply chain in Northern Ireland and in the UK.